Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, I wanted to cover overcoming your nerves to take that very first swim. So I thought we'd have a little walk through of what that first swim experience is like and hopefully encourage you out and about to maybe give it a go. Coming down to the beach for your first swim can be a little bit daunting and you could definitely have some nerves about it. Nerves about what it's going to feel like when you get in there, how you're going to cope with the cold, what you should be wearing if anybody's watching you. Let's try and dispel some of those to make that first swim just a little bit easier. It's really easy to feel nervous about a new activity, whether that be going into a new pub that you've never been to before or uh, joining a new group for something or taking part in an activity that you haven't done in this way before. It might be that you go swimming to the pool, but you want to try the outdoor side of things, and that's a little bit different. One thing that you could do is turn up ready to go swimming with the intention that you're going to get in. So have your swimsuit on underneath your clothes and uh, be ready to just strip off, ready to get in. Now that stripping off and ready to get in is also a little bit daunting. So try to find yourself a little space where you're out of the wind so that you're not freezing before you get into the water. Today for me, the wind direction is coming off the sea. So there's not really very much place to hide from that. If you just take a look along here, you can't get behind all of these beach huts. And uh, if I did, it'd be the road. So I've spotted uh, some places, some fences along here, uh, but probably, a little bit easier to access this little boat here. So I'm going to get changed just nice and low below this uh, and hopefully stay out of the wind to do so. One of the things that can make you feel nervous is wondering what onlookers are thinking. Um, but I'd put a ton of money on the fact that uh, they're thinking about how brave you are getting in and it's actually looks of admiration, if a little bit of surprise, uh, that you're getting into the sea uh, on a cold day rather than them actually looking at you and thinking I don't like what they're wearing or they look funny in that or they're certainly not thinking anything about how you look or what you're wearing to get in they're just admiring the fact you're doing it so be brave and get on in once you get out of the water it's imperative that you get yourself changed quickly uh, and to help that it's a good idea to put your stuff into a bag in the order in which you're going to use it. So this is what I'm going to do. In first go gloves and hat, next goes the jacket, then the jumper, uh, then the t-shirt, then go in my fluffy trousers, some kind of tracksuit bottoms. Next in is my vest because that's going on first and I've brought along a little towel that I will dry my feet on or stand on to get changed. And then this little 10 pound changing robe from Decathlon. But you could do the same by either bringing a couple of towels that you've sewn together, a couple of old towels, or just a towel. I'm just rubbish at towel management and uh, holding it in my mouth makes me gag. So I prefer this type. It's like a massive t-shirt towel, if you can see what I mean. Um, and it makes it easier to get changed under. Once you're ready to get in, make your way down to the water. One thing I forgot to point out is that I would always wear something on your feet. Uh, you can see here, I've got on a little pair of kind of neoprene booties, just the kind of thing that you could pick up from a supermarket in the summer. They're pretty cheap, a few quid, uh, but it saves your feet. But anything will do, old pair of trainers or anything. Um, today I'm going in without gloves on, but I would say that's probably one of the first things you might want to think about because uh, you really feel it on your extremities. So enough delaying, it's time to get in. Now the way we're going to get in is really, really nice and gently. Just uh, easing into that water. It does feel cold. Doesn't matter what time of year you try this, the water always feels cold first few times. Now when you get in, it is likely that the temperature will take your breath away. 
So the first thing you need to do is just relax into it and just hang in the water until your breath comes back to normal. So, as I go in, I'm gonna set my watch off because I want to make sure I don't stay in too long. So I'm just hitting go on the watch now. Oh, little breath out. Whew. Still does that to me every time. Oh. So, just drifting here. I'm only about waist deep. So if I wanted to do, I could get straight back out. Whew. On the first time in the water, it's all about just experiencing it. Don't be expecting, because you're a strong swimmer in the pool, that you can hop into open water and do it immediately, because that's when we're certainly not the case. So I've stopped that heavy breathing now. That might take a couple of minutes. What I'd say on the first go in the water is not to stay in too long. Just stay in a little while to get your breath right. Oh, that was a bit much. And maybe have a couple of strokes of swimming. This is what I'm going to do here. There's no escaping the fact that your armpits will burn. Your hands feel uncomfortable if they don't have gloves on. And your bits will burn. <laughs> but take in your surroundings, marvel at the fact your body's allowed you to do it, and think, I might have another go at this. Once you've had a little bit of a swim, it's time to get out. Now, don't be tempted to dally and chat to people on the beach who will be marvelling at how brave you are. Just get straight to your kit and get your clothes on. Let's go. One thing that will surprise you is just how cold your hands have got and how they're very difficult to use to get changed. So the easier your clothes are to put on, the better. No fiddly buttons, no fiddly zips. All on over the top or whipped up without a belt or anything else. This year for Christmas, one of my friends bought me some uh, fluffy Crocs. These things are brilliant. I just stick my feet straight in them. No messing, hands-free footwear. Proper job. It, you know, that first swim, it's easy to be disappointed that you didn't last very long in the water, but that's not what it's about. It's about having got in the first time. So the first time, the aims are to get in there regulate your breathing and pretty much get out. If you manage a couple of strokes before that, well, well done, but it's not essential. You've set the bar for yourself and you've got something to build on. So if this little video has made you have a think about wanting to have that first swim, let's just run through the bits of kit that you need. You need some kind of swimwear, you need something for your feet, you need something to dry yourself with, and you need some warm and easy to put on clothes for after, as well as a hot drink, and uh, maybe a little snack. So everyone's got all those bits and bobs kicking about. So you've got the stuff, you've maybe got the inclination if you're watching this. Let's see you. I hope that you have a go at it and uh, you'll let me know if you have. Drop me a note in the comments because I'd love to hear how your first one went and where you did it. If you did enjoy the video, Please consider subscribing to my channel because I've got lots and lots of videos about outdoor swimming and plenty of playlists to browse through too. So come along and join the fun, click on my face, ding the little bell and you'll know when the next one's out. And I'll see you next time. Bye!